I always ask my couples, you know, how they met and about the proposal, but this has to be one of the most unique first dates I've ever heard of. Minty, <laughs> the mascot for these two. A lamb who was born on their first date. Well, that wasn't a date according to Tom, it was just a drink. <laughs> But if we go back to a January evening four years ago when Emma accompanied Tom from the warmth of a pub back to the farm and it was a snowy night and she watched the miracle of birth. Tom thought he'd blown it, but Emma fell in love. Because you explained that very first date to me and I could see when you told me about it, the enthusiasm you had in your voice about Tom and about the way that you didn't mind leaving the table and you went out in your designer jacket and you were feeding this lamb and I could see it in your eyes and I thought, aye aye, this guy's for keeps. Emma, you look stunning and I think all of our guests will agree that you've scrubbed up quite good. <laughs> and there's a quote, as us farmers would say, uh, a pretty calf from quite an ugly bull. No offence there, Kev. I, I look back at the first memory of Tom with Emma. Tom had been single for a while, as in a few years, and uh, Mum and I used to say, oh, I can't think of a girl that would suit our Tom. And uh, I went to do a little job for Stuart and Sue White over there, uh, mucking out one of their cattle sheds. And Emma hadn't long, long been back off the ferries. As I made my way to Stuart's, uh, down the drive, I saw this little Toyota Yaris go up the drive. And if anyone knew Emma's little Yaris, it got pink furry dice, pink headrests, pink steering wheel. And I just couldn't see Tom sitting as a passenger in that. <laughs> but he did. He did. Yeah, I mean, we came, I came back and I said to Mum, there's Emma's back. And uh, I said, but I don't think she'd suit Tom. But yeah, we, regularly we'd pass Tom on the road with his knees up by his ears and this little Yaris. And um, pink obviously suits Tom, that's why we've gone for a bit of pink, but... 